The only limit in AI art is your imagination. You have the opportunity to create any impossible combination. A caveman watching TV. A turnip winning the Hungarian Grand Prix. A half man, half lemon tree. A cyberpunk Leon Trotsky. Or a plant that can see. We love to attribute human characteristics to animals and the outcomes can be fascinating. So why not take your favorite animal or breed of dog and ask it to be anthropomorphized? I'm gonna give you the exact prompt below that you can use and just change the variable of the animal. So what you have to do is take this prompt here and take this little part in brackets. And here are some examples of I've made. The basset hound so suave, he's mistaken for James Bond. The name's Hound, Basset Hound. Here is a very presentable cat that I would definitely offer a position on the front of house too. And finally, a Shiba Inu who can definitely lead the French resistance for me. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment with your own impossible combination ideas below. Number two is applying faces to objects that do not have faces. Humans love to find faces in the world so that we can see ourselves reflected back and feel an emotional connection. So try putting a face on something that does not have a face. Here, for example, is some excellent work by Mortis Malum that I found in the community feed on Midjourney. He has got this fantastic piece of broccoli that is evoking the face of a human skull. And there's obviously something incredibly enthralling about this image. And I have gone on myself to create a few skulls and faces in other objects to give you a few examples. Here we have a cauliflower and a skull. So I simply took this gentleman's beautiful prompt and changed broccoli for cauliflower. It took a number of iterations to get this version of the cauliflower. I can show you a few here. And I selected this one and upscaled it and remastered it with one of the latest algorithms. So here is a cloud with a skull inside. So I'm going to share this prompt that I was using here uh, along with the variable which you can change to put something in the shape of a skull or face and leave that in the comments below. And here is a building at the start of Zaha Hadid and I have asked Midjourney to include the elements of facial features. So you can see that this one is very lightly creating almost the feeling of a brow here and in the central part there is almost like a nose. So this is a really subtle but for me, I think sometimes it's whether you are seeing a face or not seeing a face. So another thing that you can do is change something's material. You can make it made of something that it could not possibly be made of. For example, here are a couple of examples of tiger fur that is metallic. So you get this beautiful, impossible, shining, jewel-like fur from a tiger. Another example that I came across was also from this Mortis Malum and he's made this beautiful dress made of cabbage leaves. Here is a sheep made of cauliflower. So you can really get anything created by anything and here is a man made of broccoli. Here is a monster made by broccoli. Here is a spaceship made of broccoli. As you might have gathered I'm a big fan of broccoli. Nothing like a lovely lump of broccoli in your life. Mmm. Delicious. I'll also leave a prompt about how to create things made of other things in the description below. And you've got three new ways to explore impossible combinations in your AI art. You can anthropomorphize animals, you can put faces on things, and you can make things made of other things. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, why not check out my mid-journey course on Udemy in the comments below, where you'll be taken through every single feature inside of mid-journey, so you can master this revolutionary new tool. Have a delightful day!